mail crew i have another package today my mailman and i might as well just start dating because he's at my house like every day but i have a package i already know what it is when i saw the box i knew what it was because the company reached out to me and i was expecting this drill yay all right so i have a drill another drill and this one is a portable drill guys you know from my last portable drill video it was a total fail it was a flop oh my goodness so i'm hoping that this one is a lot better than that one this is from the company bell it is from the same company that makes my other drill my small drill that i got for valentine's day it's the same company so i have high hopes they have a nice little booklet here i'm just flipping through some of the pages i know a lot of you like that the booklet is very extensive it goes through all the details everything that you would need to know for the drill so here i am just taking it out the package and oh my gosh oh my god like guys okay so it's already charged up I, ah! I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'm just so happy. Just feeling it. It just feels like quality and it's shiny. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just super excited. I'm sorry, guys. Let me just calm down. So here is the handpiece. The handpiece feels relatively light. It's a little heavier than my other bell drill. A little bit heavier than that one but it still feels good in my hand and I have very, very small hands. All right, let's see what else it comes with. So this is the stand. You could just put the hand piece in the stand just like that, voila. And of course it comes with drill bits. These I have showed you guys on my drill bits video. And then it also comes with these armor bands. What else? Okay, so here is the plug, the adapter plug. It looks exactly like the same plug from the other drill. So that's cool. I could share the plugs. Yeah, yeah, have an extra plug. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug that up and see what happens. All righty. So, okay, so once you plug it in, you can see that the little battery icon lights up. All right, let's go ahead and put the hand piece in. There is an arrow right on the, the plug part and there's a matching arrow on the device. You match those up and put them together. Mwah, let them kiss and they will be just together i don't know i don't know forget i said that all right so here's the little hand piece in case you want to clip it on your belt loop and then you can just put that right into the little holster and you are ready to go all right so we know that i have to do my test right we know that we have to do this test i have to turn it on and let's see what happens let's just listen so what i'm testing for is that it's not going to shut down my last oh my head gosh. held drill mm -hmm. i turned it on and it literally just stopped turning like it just shut i was like what the hell is happening but so far that is fine so i had it in forward and i just clicked that little little button on the side and i put it in reverse and now i'm just listening and just watching to make sure that it won't stop in oh forward or reverse and it so far so it's going good <laughs> i am beyond excited right now guys and now what i'm doing is checking to see if it's going to vibrate in my hand so i'm not holding it like i'm not putting a lot of grip on it i just want to see if it's going to be steady in my hand even though it's on and so far so good yay guys it's still turning it didn't stop it's not vibrating it's not too noisy i am beyond excited right now all right so i have my niece her name is andrea say hi andrea she's going to let me prep her nails so i just want to prep her nails with this drill guys let's see what's going to happen so i'm gonna check for the torque and that is when i put it on the nail is it going to stop turning or is it going to keep on turning so i have it on level six which is relatively low it goes from zero to 30 and that means zero to thirty thousand rpms okay and right now i'm at six and it is still turning I am putting, you know, light pressure down, light to moderate pressure, and it's not stopping the drill from turning. Whoop, whoop, thumbs up. I'm so happy right now, guys. I'm so happy because I love my drill. I love the drill that I have, but to have a portable drill is always nice. 
All right, so now I am going to use this Arbor Band and I'm just going to put it on the mandrel and put it inside of the machine. And let's just see. So right here, there is an open lock. You turn it to the open lock to put the drill pieces in and out. You turn it to the right to lock it in place. All that is standard. And I'm gonna put this at about five or six RPMs. Very, very low speed. And I'm just going to buff the shine off of her nail. And again, it's on a very low speed and it is not stopping when I touch her fingers. So that's a very, very good sign. To be such a small, compact drill, it is very powerful, guys. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy right now. I'm so happy. All right, so since I'm in prep and prime mode, I might as well just show you guys the whole procedure when I'm prepping a nail. So you push back the cuticles, you remove the shine, and then I like to put my forms on before I prep and dehydrate and put the primer on. Because sometimes when I put the forms on, I touch the nail plate. And once the primer is on the nail plate, you do not want to touch it. So for me, I find it a lot easier to go ahead and put the nail forms on. That way, if I touch the nail plate, it's fine. I'll go ahead and clean it with the dehydrator and then put the primer on. So today, I think I'm going to use No Lifts Primer because I haven't used that primer in a long time. But here's another primer. This one is from Young Nails. And then I also have my Mia Secret, my all-time favorite. But then I also have your Yogi. So these are all different primers, guys. All different primers, whatever you have, find what works for you. They're all different. They all work different, but essentially they do the same thing. So this primer you can get right from Sally's Beauty, but I want you guys to know it is an acidic primer. It will burn if there's any cuts or open areas along the cuticle line or anything like that. It will burn. So just be mindful of that. If you have any concerns with an acidic primer, then don't use it. Use the Mia Secret or the Young Nails or one of those, okay? But I just want to show you guys how I prep and prime my nails. This is how I do it all the time. I just wanted to share that again for the newbies. Okay, so now let's go back to the drill, guys. All right, so I have a medium carbide drill bit. See, it has that M. You see that M? That lets you know that it's medium. Not all of them have letters on it, but this one just happened to have it. So I just want to show you. And I don't think I showed you guys how high you can turn this up. You see that 30? That means you're at 30,000 RPM. All right, let me turn it right back down because that's way too high. I got it at about seven now. And I'm just going to see if I can file this nail. Let's try to make... Hmm, what do you guys want to see? Let's do a ballerina. Let's do a ballerina now. So I'm just going to file this nail. And we're going to see if the drill can handle it. It is a handheld drill. It is a portable drill. But let's see if it's just as powerful as a desktop drill. That's what we all want to know, right? It's beautiful. It's sleek. But is it as powerful as a desktop drill? So let's find out right now. Just going to try to file this nail. And so far, guys, so far, I'm very, like, guys, <laughs> so far, I'm very happy. I like this company, though. Like, you guys know, the last bell drill, I've been taking that back and forth with me to school because it's so small and the desk space that we have is tiny. So that small drill fits perfectly on my desk and it doesn't take up a lot of room. But now... <laughs> Now, I think this might be my school drill. I definitely think this is going to be the drill that I'm going to take to school because I love the little clip. Clip it right onto my uniform pants and it's going to take absolutely zero room off my desk. And look how quick that filed the nail, right? I like it. I like it, God. Now, if you guys already have a drill out there, don't go buy this one. But if you are in the market for a new drill, then I really do think this would be a good option. Let's see how well it cuts the nail down. So, so far so good. My biggest thing is that I love that it's not vibrating in my hand. I love that it continues to rotate when I am pressing it on the nail. And I just love that it's nice and sleek and it doesn't take room on my desk. So check, check, check. I'm very happy. I'm very happy overall. Let me know what you guys think below. I know there's a lot of drills out there. Um, 
but this one I think is very good. I think it was about $65. Link will be in the description box below. You guys can definitely check it out. And again, I just want to show you guys the nail, right? So cool, right? Nice and crisp. I am kind of dusty, so let's just clean off my hands. And then I'll clean off this nail so you guys can get a better look at it. Let me just wipe off that dust. And then you guys can see, because that is very nice and crisp. I love it. I love it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right, guys. That's all I have for you today. Thanks for rocking with me till the end. I really appreciate it. I love the love and support. Thank you guys so much. And here is another video for you to watch. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're not a subscriber already. I will see you lovely lovelies lovely lovelies in my next video. Bye guys.